and using also the simplex network flow algorithm and was developed uh, with uh, uh, Matthias Ergold and it is uh, first we try to adapt the algorithm developed by Kurtis Puerto for linear case, by object is linear case and uh, we found that this, uh, they compute for some they divide the, 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 the range of uh, scaling factors or let's see, weights and uh, for some ranges they compute the same solution first thing we improve this we don't, we don't compute uh, the same solution more than uh, ours, okay? this is the one, one improvement and the second one uh, was of course to devise an algorithm, a primal algorithm, to a algorithm for, uh, for uh, network calls. Let me see, let me explain you about the results. Uh, the results, the results are, are, quite, are quite interesting because uh, this algorithm performs worse than a parametric one for problems that are not highly generated, but when we have a lot of generators uh, on each node, this one performs much better than the parametric one, okay? And then, uh, when we solve the, this uh, primal dual simplex algorithm for two objective problems, uh, the record is mentioned that also the primal dual for the, for the single object is problem is, uh, is, um, is different from the remaining ones and so it's something new. Okay, so we have uh, the primal problem, single, single uh, minimum cost of problem with the conservation constant. And here we consider L I J equal to zero and these are the capacity constants. And this is the two-wall problem here. We can derive that uh, for this one, we can derive uh, the definition of reduced cost. And then we have also an ad hoc similar problem to start the algorithm because we need to start with a feasible solution. This is for the single case. Okay. The complementary slightness uh, theorem is very important because we can uh, we know that or x is zero or this kind of reduced cost plus this variable is zero or bound at zero. And uh, the same here or the, this dual variable is zero or this difference is zero or bound at zero. But implications are more important and expect especially this one if a flow is in strictly between the bounds this is because the reduction cost is zero it's just to put uh, to put this in that part and we have the definition of the this is not uh, it's important uh, for the computation and also the other security it is strictly lower than the cost it's because this is it's lower bound for zero and upper bound for zero. Okay, so we have to consider uh, now the, the primal dual network flow, which is based on, uh, because it's linear, it's, it's based on the uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on previous one, but let me show one thing that is more important than all this part. Mathematics. You know that, that there is a feasible solution x given uh, upper case x is efficient if and only if there exists uh, a lambda within this range 0, 1 such that a solution to solution x minimizes the rate of some linear problem. This is what they did also in the graph. The most important is that the concept of spanning <coughs> structure 
Has finally structured the network, uh, in the, uh, network, uh, network flow, network simplex hourly correspond to a base in a, uh, in, uh, in a program. And then we have to uh, we have to analyze carefully this spanning stream, these structures, in order to to see that the ranges that are the best ones to compute solutions. If one range will not give uh, rise to achieve one uh, one non-dominated solution, we remove it from the analysis. And the reduced, the reduced costs help us in checking for uh, removing some branches. So we have the three group, this is a network flow, okay, in terms of the two branches. And in this, uh, when applying this range, we obtain this solution. Now it's in the decision space. Let me continue. If we observe the reversal costs, some ranges can be removed from analysis, and we have the four solutions. And we know how to define, how to define this ranges uh, in a more adequate, adequate way. So they didn't this part in the article by Matthias Ergot and Gusto uh, uh, They did a good work, but uh, we improved this part. And with the help of the reverse trust, we could uh, remove some, uh, some bounds from, uh, from the other and also we develop the other power. The second, second contribution is the epsilon constant from the biojective on the genetic protocol. This is, that is kind of three techniques. The branch under the, the, the sequence of, of the epsilon constant problems. Uh, we know that uh, a solution of uh, an epsilon constant, so an epsilon constant uh, 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 problem is uh, not the biojective problem, and uh, this was proved in 71 by Ames and other people, and uh, this is a result that we know. The other thing is uh, that we can use uh, network simplex algorithms to compute integer as well as non-integer solutions, and we know exactly the number of non-integer variables uh, in, a given, a given in a certain point. And the other is using the branch and bound as only the structure that uh, can link us to, uh, to compute the optimal solution of the epsilon cost. Okay, so first, the, the algorithm is based on the resolution of a sequence of epsilon constant problems. Integer solutions are computed by the branch and bound algorithm with a particular choice of the branch variable. And let me show you the, the branch variable is very A network simplex algorithm is used to compute non-integer as well as integer optimal solutions. And the network structure is not destroyed during the optimization process. Okay, one proposition that is important. Very simple, but very important. We have two spanning three structures. One uh, uh, we denoted it by SDS prime and the other SDS double double. And these two are ages. And then when moving from one to another, there is a cycle C. And this cycle allows to move, as I told you, from one to the other. And when an amount of flow is sent along this cycle, in general, an integer one, we obtain the other one. But then when sending a non-integer amount of flow, a non-integer solution is obtained, and it contains exactly Cardinal C non-integer variables. And this is very important for the branch. 